Morning, Paul here. Um, before I start on my next project video, you'd have seen in the last project video that I was using the tailstock, or well, basically using the lathe to push the pens together. Uh, and it was a bit cumbersome. You've got a, a soft piece of wood in this end, in the headstock, and I was then putting another, holding another piece of board up against the actual tailstock as I pushed it in. So, just to quickly go over that, what I've actually done, I've actually got a couple of small pieces of hardwood which is which I've used in the past in the pallets. That I usually just sink straight in the chuck, and that one just goes straight into the tailstock, and it is a lot, lot easier. So, just a just a quick tip and things the way I've just changed. So project video I'm doing this time um, it's really really changed temperature wise here now um, autumn has really kicked in uh, really bright sunny days but it is cold so coming out in the workshop I mean it is quite chilly I've even dug out the electric oil filled radiator um, but to get a gauge I wanted to get myself a, th a thermometer um, it doesn't have to be accurate just something to give me an idea so I basically bought this one off eBay um, I think it goes as something like a guitar case or a violin case thermometer. So I wasn't bothered, just wanted something cheap. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be accurate. Uh, a bit skeptical about the, the moisture the content on here, because it's saying 80%, much higher I think than I'll be having water falling from the ceiling. So what I'm doing this time, I'm going to use a bit of spalted beach. Um, just chop that off. It's it's not dry dry as I'd like it. It's still probably about 14-15% but I'm hoping that's going to be okay. I'm going to glue this to a waste block and to help get this as centred as possible what I've done is I've found centre and here's a tip. I don't actually have a centre finder but you can actually use an ordinary square and you can then do the square for each corner that way to find yourself your, your centre point, just the way as a centre finder would. And then what I've done, just took the diameter of this, used a compass and just drawn a circle around there. Don't know how well it will show up on the camera here. So at least when I hot glue this on, I've got a good idea of trying to get that as centre as possible. Um, and rather than stick a little great big hole in there, I've just got something I've made from ages ago, just to basically push that on. Um, so when the heat gun has warmed up properly, I'll just quickly glue that on and then we'll get started. Right, so the hot glue gun has heated up well. Uh, just get a good covering on here. Uh, typical, I need a glue stick. Just try and get this as centered as possible. I should have stuck your block in first. Right, so the glue has had hot glue has had plenty of time to, to harden now. So a good probably five ten minutes there, um, and I did put a bead around the edge as well just to make sure. So let's try and get this turned down. Still not got myself a bowl gouge yet, so that is seriously getting high on my shopping list. Um, let's take it down.
Right, okay, we've got it round, we've got some tear out, um, which I expected with this wood. Um, what a lovely grain. The spot wood in this is absolutely wonderful. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount that somewhere central like that, and I think what I'd like to do is probably take the hole fairly back so it goes right the way through. Um, and then after that, do some form of a decorative edge or something on the front, on the edges. So let's measure this up and see if there's a size that I can use with a force in a bit. So I've just sanded that to 240 grit and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply some sanding sealer. I normally use the brine wax sanding, shellac sanding sealer. Um, I'm starting to get low on that now, I'll probably, well, there's still probably about a quarter of the thing in there but what I've done is when I was ordering all my pen kits I decided to order the cellular sanding sealer and the cellular thinners. So as per Mike Walt's recipe, um, which we probably all know about, I'm just gonna mix some of that up. So it'll be sort of like two thirds sanding sealer, one third thinners, uh, just gonna get a bowl to mix it up into, and then I'll be back again. Right, so I've got my sanding sealer mix. Um, I'm gonna manually um, rub this in to start with. Does that grain look nice? Grit. I only took this end of 240. This should really take it to the equivalent of 600 at least. Uh, I don't know whether anybody's actually done any comparison or not, but uh, um, see what Yorkshire grit compares to on grit wise. Smooth as anything, 
just the odd little bit of tear out on the edge there, uh, which I'm more than happy with. Um, grain is just absolutely amazing. So I think what the usual is, a bit of wood wax 22. Where have my screwdrivers gone? took the inside down a little bit further it's had a second coat of woodwax 22 so I'm just gonna part this off now donut uh, I watered the hole all the way through just to allow for the air and everything well for at least something coming through from the back uh, just try and tidy that back up a little bit um, and put it together so all in all a very very quick project video um, I absolutely love the, the grain on this um, I think it's always brilliant when you do make something for a purpose and I just basically wanted a thermometer for the workshop so all I've done there is I've just drilled a, a hole at an angle there just and I've just put a screw above where my uh, kitchen roll is so you'll see this hanging up in future videos like I said I'm not too bothered how accurate it is um, I mean it's now currently showing 25 degrees in here uh, yeah I just had to turn the radiator down so it is warm uh, it's showing humidity at about 80%, which I think it just could probably just needs adjusting up. But it was just really there for a gauge of of the temperature. Uh, you obviously know what you get used to working in and stuff like that, so at least you can just see how cold things really are um, when you come in and out of the workshop. Um, so yeah, it's a piece of sport beach, um, just trued up. It's the front is not really the best that I could have done. Uh, it is a little bit lumpy. Should have should have took a little bit of time there. Um, the thermometer itself, like I say, got that from eBay. I think it was about five six pounds. It's designed to go into a guitar or a violin case. Um, gave it two coats of sanding sealer. Only took it down to two forty grit to start with use the Yorkshire grit again and just giving it a final couple of coats of, of wood wax 22 so yeah very very pleased with it um, just just what I want to do very decorative for, for the workshop to be honest now if this is your first time here uh, thank you very much for watching um, I do put up regular videos every week well try to every week anyway and I think every week I've done something almost totally different so it is becoming harder and harder so please do subscribe and for really for everyone please do hit the share button hit the like button and below please do leave any comments so thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video bye